Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make a sheep pen. I didn't really know what to title this thing, I did also consider calling it a wolf farm, but that seems way too exploitative, so I decided to go with sheep pen, it seems a lot friendlier and nicer than farming the sheep for their wools, but that does describe this place perfectly. This is a place that you can keep all of your woolly friends, and if you want to, you can keep them all separated into areas of their wool colour. If you want red sheep, then you can keep them all in one pen. There's nice big pens in this thing and you can separate them, keep them all together, or you can mix them all up, it's completely up to you. This thing works quite well and I think it looks pretty cool. By the way, not only have I made a sheep pen, but I've also done a stables in the past, I've done a pig pen, I've done a chicken hut, I've done a rabbit hutch, I've done a cat house, I've done a dog house, I've done loads of buildings exactly like this for pretty much the exact same purpose for all of the different mobs of Minecraft. You can find each one of those tutorials both in the card system and the description below and you only have to find them in one place that is my animal houses playlist very popular playlist already you guys all love it check that out in the card system and the description below that is my animal houses playlist if you want to make more than just the sheep farm but we've been talking for far too long if you want to make this thing here's what you're going to need grab yourself some spruce wood and you'll need some oak wood planks grab dark oak wood planks and you'll need some dark oak wood stairs grab oak wood stairs oak wood slabs. You'll also need some dark oak wood slabs. Also, grab yourself, we need so many materials here guys, you'll also want to grab yourself a little bit of fence as well, some oak wood fence, and we may even need some dark oak wood fence. We'll just have to grab things as we need them, because we do need way too many things. So, once you have each one of those materials right there, and once you've figured out where you want to make it, and you do need a decent amount of room, you're going to want to kick off your sheep pen with this. You want to do a row of three spruce wood coming directly up from the ground. That's one, two, three. Like that. What you then want to do is you want to three rows away, leaving a gap of two, do the same thing. So to the right, we're leaving a gap of two. One, two, three. Now, leaving a gap of one in the floor, still going right, we want to have another row of three. One, two, three. Then, leaving a gap of two in the ground again, we want to have another row of three. One, two, three. Then, leaving a gap of one this time, using, we already need a material. Get rid of dark oak wood fence for a while. Using our oak wood, we want to have, leaving a gap of one, a row of four oak wood coming up from the ground. That's one, two, three, four. Then, leaving a gap of two in the ground, we want to once again do the same thing with the oak wood. That's one, two, three, four. Then taking out the spruce wood again, we want to leaving a gap of one again. One, two, three. Leaving a gap of two this time. One, two, three. Leaving a gap of one. One, two, three. Leaving a gap of two. One, two, three. So we want to end up with something that should look a little bit like this. And you can see it's the same on the left hand side as it is the right. Perfect. This is what you want to do next. So, we want to take out our oak wood stairs. And where we have these rows of spruce wood that are separated by two rows from each other, we want to connect them together top block to top block with a row of upside down oak wood stairs. So, we want to have something which should look a little bit like this. And this is fairly complicated, most of this tutorial. So, we're just going to have to do a lot of this stuff just by kind of like me showing you what to do and just having a look at it afterwards. So, once you've got that taken care of, what we now want to do is we want to take each one of the individual gaps between the spruce wood and the oak wood and we want to between these one gaps starting from the bottom block we want an upside down oak wood stair with an oak wood plank on top with nothing on top then we want to leave a gap of one and then we want to place an oak wood stair like this so we want to have this and as a matter of fact you know what would be easier is if we took out our oak wood planks we came behind the single rows of three and we did three oak wood planks directly behind the like single rows in between like the spruce wood layers and the oak wood layers like this so you want to have this and that is why I almost placed a plank because you can see that you get the effect of it in between. But what we also want to do, remember, we want to do an oak wood plank right at the bottom or an oak wood stairs, an upside down oak wood stairs, and then at the top we want a regular facing oak wood stairs like this. That's the left hand side and we also want to do the same thing to the right. And it just gives a pretty cool effect and that's all it's for. There's, there's no other practical reason for this, but we'll end up with something that should look like this. So that's what you want to do there. What we now want to do is we want to... Take out our oak wood stairs again, 
and we want to on top of each one of these sections of two pairing spruce woods we want to have like opposing facing or together facing i should say oak wood stairs so you want to plant these on each one of the pairs of spruce wood that are connected together with the upside down oak wood stairs in between them so we kind of want to have something which should look like this and those kind of look like i don't know like ears or something well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. You want to go in a line and connecting each one of those stairs together, going all the way across, you want to have a layer of dark oak wood planks that kind of like sits on top of the space in between the stairs and it also sits between the stairs as well, if you can see what I mean. So it like it expands on top of the like little gaps that you have in between the stairs as well. And you'll end up with something that should look like this and that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Well, once you've got that taken care of, we want to take out our oak wood again. And where we have these two rows of four oak wood, we want to extend them forward by one row with the oak wood itself, like this. What we then want to do is we want to, on top of each one of these oak woods, we want to do a dark oak wood stairs, like that. That's fine. We then want to connect those stairs together with a row of oak wood stairs. We then want to one row down in front of those top rows or those top blocks of oak wood. We want to do dark oak wood stairs like right in front of them. Then we want to do a row of upside down oak wood stairs like that. Then we want to place coming up from the bottom in front of each one of these oak woods. We want to have two oak wood uh two oak wood fence coming up like this and then we want to place a dark oak wood slab on top of them like that gives you a pretty cool effect uh then i do believe and i just think this we can get rid of the dark oak wood and we can grab ourselves some white stained glass block or any color and you just want to place white stained glass block like in that position there just below the bottom of the door and what we now want to do, and I've just realized something, guys. What we now want to do, can you see these top two dark oak wood stairs that we place? We fa we place them the wrong way, but that's okay. We want to actually place them, like, outwards, like that. We actually want to place them outwards like that. And you can destroy, I do think you can destroy, yeah, you can destroy the stairs in between them. And you can place oak wood slabs, just regular oak wood slabs like that. There we go, that's the effect that we're going for. I apologize for getting it wrong the first time, but honestly guys, it is quite complicated. Then we can get rid of everything. And grab yourself some uh, white stained clay. You'll also need a magenta stained clay, purple stained clay. You'll need some white wool, and you'll need some black wool. Or, by the way, whatever you want the colour of the sheep to be that's going to sit on top of this sign, we're making the sign now, um, just choose that colour. I'm going for white. On top of this left hand dark oak wood stair, I want you to place a white stained clay. Left of that white stained clay, place the white wall. But going right of that, you want to place two purple stained clay, a white stained clay, and then a white wall, like that. Then for the next row on top of this, we want to place the exact same thing, except we want to use magenta stained clay instead of purple stained clay. And then on top of that layer, we want to place a layer of white stained clay. Then on top of the next row, going from left to right, we want to do one black wall, one white, two white stained clay, a white wall, a black wall. Then for the next row, an entire row of white stained clay. On top of that, an entire row of white. And there you have a sheep. That's a sheep head. Just to show everybody what this thing is. That's pretty much what we're going for. Well, once you've got that taken care of, this is what you want to do next. So, once you have your sheep head taken care of, we want to pretty much take out the materials that we just threw away. We we kind of need them. Uh, we want to grab, we'll need some oak wood planks probably, some dark oak wood planks. We'll need some spruce wood, but no more oak. And we'll need the stairs. The stairs are an important part. Oak wood stairs and dark oak wood stairs. And we'll also also need slabs probably, dark oak wood slabs and oak wood slabs. And uh, I'll tell you what we'll actually need. We'll need loads and loads of different kinds of glass and glowstone, but glowstone is something that we'll need a lot of, so just grab that. Well, once you've got each one of those, you want to make your way to the left-hand side of the, pet, of the sheep pen. And coming out backwards diagonally of this very first spruce that you placed, you want to place another spruce wood. And you actually want to place two additional spruce wood on top, so that'll be one and two like that. What you then want to do is you want to place a oak wood stairs on top of that. You want to place a oak wood slab 
and Oakwood Slab, going right of that to connect to the corner. But then you want to go left of that Oakwood Stairs, and you want to do a row of six Oakwood Stairs going backwards. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. Connect that down to the ground with the spruce wood, like so. That's fantastic. Once you've done that on that side, you want to come to the opposite side here, and you want to do the same thing. So coming outwards diagonally, we want a row of one, two, three spruce, an Oakwood Stairs on top, place an oakwood slab in the corner, but then go right of the oakwood stairs by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Connect it down to the ground with a layer of spruce wood. Then connect that stair all the way over to the opposite stair with a layer of spruce wood stairs. So it'll end up looking a little something like this. So you want to have that. Then take out your dark oakwood slabs and what you want to do is, and just let me make sure that we're going to get this right because it is fairly important, take out your oakwood slabs and you want to do a layer of dark oakwood slabs going all the way around the top of the inside of what you've just made. So going all the way around the top of the inside of what you've just made, you want to stack a layer of dark oakwood slabs. So it'll end up looking like a rectangular shape and it'll look pretty cool. So we'll just end up with something that should look a little bit, hang on a little bit like that fantastic and by the way you can also fill in the area here just above the top of the uh just above the top of the entrance you can also fill this in like that so we'll have something which should look like this but we're not finished what we now want to do is this so we want to let's say that we're looking down on this and we're looking towards the back and we're on the left hand side we want to leave a gap of two here in the wood in the slabs we want to leave a gap of two and then this third row connecting from front to back we want to do a layer of dark oak wood slabs and then we want to leaving a gap of one do another layer of dark oak wood slabs connecting front to back like this we're forming a pattern by the way so we have a gap of one then we want to leave a gap of two slab then leave a gap of one slab gap of two slab gap of one slab gap of two place a slab gap of one slab then we have a gap of two on the opposite side and you'll see that we have a pattern here and it corresponds with where we have the individual woods at the front of the stables or the pens I, i'm really not sure what to call this thing farm pen stables i don't know it doesn't really matter wherever you keep sheep so you just want to have in line with the woods basically rows of dark oak wood slab connecting the roof from the front to the back and it'll look a lot of something like this and Take out your glowstone, and where you have the individual rows of empty space, you want to place the glowstone. We're going to be placing different colours in the other rows a little bit later on, and those colours are going to be up to you, so we're not going to take care of this at the moment, but that's what we want to have. We want to have the single layers filled in with glowstone, so that's what you want to have. Well, once you've got that taken care of, you now want to come all the way to the left hand side of your sheep pen stables farm thing again and you want to extend this oak stairs backwards by three so that look like one two and three and then you want to connect that down to the ground with a layer of spruce wood then you can do a layer of upside down dark oakwood stairs underneath each one of those oakwood stairs that you have on the sides there like that then come to the opposite side of the build, and you want to extend this oakwood stair backwards again by 1, 2, 3, connect it down to the ground with spruce wood, and then do upside down dark oakwood stairs underneath each one of those oakwood stairs like that, but not on the fronts by the way because those are planks and we have different ideas for those. I'll actually show you what you want to do, so we'll actually be taking out oakwood fence here, and we'll be doing oakwood fence to connect the corners all the way down to the ground here just to fill in a little bit of space and I think it looks kind of cool. So once you've got that taken care of, what you now want to do, coming to the back of the uh, of the sheep pen here, and I am just having a bit of a look at this, guys. Just apologize. I apologize. Um, well, once you've got that taken care of, we want to connect each one of those back oakwood stairs together with a row of spruce wood, very similar to how we did um, not so earlier on. Well, once you've got that done, we now want to. Coming backwards and inwards diagonally, we want to have a row of three spruce wood coming up from the ground from each end of the corner of the stable. So coming in by one row diagonally, we want to have something which should look like this. And then starting from the left hand side here where we have this row of three, we want to do this pattern on the ground. So we want to leave a gap of two on the ground, leaving a gap of two, place a spruce wood. Leave a gap of one, spruce wood. Leave a gap of two, 
spruce wood. Leave a gap of six, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, spruce wood. Then leave a gap of two, spruce wood. Gap of one, spruce wood, and that should connect you to the opposite side. Then you want to take each one of these spruce woods that you have and you want to extend them up each by two. So you want to basically form rows of three. That's all you want to do, very, very simple. So you'll end up with something that should look a little bit like that. What you can then do is this. So you can take out your old pal, the spruce wood again. We're going to be using spruce wood. And, no, you know what, we won't use spruce wood. We'll, we'll grab oak wood again. Mm, we're not, I don't think we're actually going to be needing spruce wood again for a while at least. And we're going to grab oak wood. On the back here, we're going to take out our oak wood planks. And where we have this very large gap of six here, we're going to one row inwards and diagonally towards the center. We want to have two rows of three oak wood planks coming up like this. And we'll just leave the center like that. Then we'll take out our oak wood planks again. And we just want to have a row of three oak wood planks directly behind each one of these single gaps that we have at the back of the stable. So wherever you have the single gaps in between the spruce woods, you want to have oak wood planks behind them. Then we want to, in front of those rows of three oak wood planks, we want to have the upside down oak wood stairs at the bottom, and we want to have the regular facing ones at the top. You only have to do this twice, once on the left, once on the right, like this. Then you want to, on top of each one of these spruce wood sections, we want to have the like same way facing stairs for the oak wood stairs um, right at the tops of each one of the spruce woods. So we kind of want to have like the spruce wood couplings or the oak wood stairs couplings like this. Then we want to connect them together with a layer of dark oak wood slabs. So connect them together with a layer of dark oak wood slabs like this. And that will give you something which should look a little bit like that. And that is absolutely perfect. Now what we want to do is this. So, oh, we also want to take out some upside, uh, some oak wood stairs, and we want to do upside down oak wood stairs um, just underneath the uh, just underneath the dark oak wood slabs. Oh, we can also place some oak wood slabs in the back two corners of the stable, and then we can connect those oak wood slabs down to the ground with oak wood fence. Again, I'm sorry for forgetting this stuff, but there's a lot to remember, and I realize that the video may have just cut off a little bit weirdly, but that's because I found a much better way to show you how to do what I want to do. So, we want to take out our dark oak wood planks, and we want to connect the entire bottom outside part of the the sheet pen together so this includes knocking out underneath the blocks for the visible upside down oak wood stairs blocks and this also includes the corners this includes every single outer block just tracing along the outside of your sheet pen as you can see um some of the blocks are already filled in like up underneath the upside down oak wood stairs blocks but that's because i've already done this and i've just found a better way um to show you guys how to do this so um, once you've kind of like dug a trench all the way around the outside of your sheet pen you want to fill in the trench that you've just dug out with your dark oak wood planks and it'll end up looking quite nice and it'll just kind of like form the perimeter for your sheet pen and it will there we go it'll form the perimeter for your sheet pen and it'll just give like a clear outline of where the pen starts and stops so just to give you guys an idea let's have a look at the front first so it connects all the way around the pens and then coming to the left hand side it connects on the ends and at the back it like it connects all there you can see where it connects is basically what i'm getting at that's what we want to have well on top of the dark oak wood planks we actually want to have oak wood fence going all the way around on top of the dark oak wood plank parts, except we don't want to have on the fronts in between each one of the individual stalls for the sheep, we don't want to have oak wood fence. It's primarily on the backs and the sides that we're going to want to place this oak wood fence. So we just want to have something which should look like this. That's on the back and this is on the side. So that's what you want to have. And this is where we're going to start customizing things, guys. Actually, you know what? We won't customize it just yet. This is what we want to do. So, on the inside of your sheep pen, we're going to have to separate this thing now. So, 
where we have these rows of spruce wood like right on the back sides like uh, this is on the right hand side of the pen and that's on the left hand side of the pen there you can see where we have the row of spruce wood right at the top well we kind of want to separate where each one of these sheeps are going to be kept and we want to separate them with spruce wood and we want to connect down from the ceiling all the way to the ground where the sheeps are going to be separated so like that's the separation between like this pen and this pen and we also need to separate like on the ground where we're going to have like this is where this pen ends and this is where the entrance is and also this one does this make sense does can you see like why we're placing these rows of spruce wood like here from the ceiling to the ground and they are in line with the layers of oak wood planks that we have and what we then want to do is we want to take out, once again, I got rid of it, but dark oak wood planks and we want some, uh, we'll use dark oak wood fence. And we want to connect in the ground the spruce wood and we want to connect the oak wood planks. So we want to connect everything together and I'm just digging into the ground to just show you where the separation begins and ends. So I'm now going to be placing in the ground dark oak wood planks and this is just going to separate like one of the variety of sheep will be kept in this section. Another variety of sheep will be kept in this section here, and the last variety on this particular wing of the pen will be kept on here. And they'll all be separated with, uh, I won't use dark oak wood fence because that is a little bit dark actually, but I'll use oak wood fence. And the, they will all be separated by fence and will have fence gates where appropriate. So they'll all be separated by oak wood fence like this and you can see that that's how we kind of like come to things so like as soon as you walk in like we have one variety here one variety here and one variety here we want the same thing on the opposite side so on the opposite side here oh that's the entrance silly me so that's the entrance there i, I, I got a little bit carried away but that's the entrance and uh, we want to have the same thing on this side so on this side um we uh, i guess we only get two sheep um on either side i thought it was free i'm i'm getting a little bit ahead of myself i'm trying to i'm trying to think a little bit too fast i think and it's blowing up in my face but um, you guys can see where the separation is still and you can see where each one of the sheeps are going to be kept so um that's the entrance obviously but we have two on this side and we two have two on the opposite side and we have the dark oak wood well we also have to dig out the entire floor i'm going to dig out the floor this includes the like where the hallway is going to be this includes where um, the sheep pens are going to be so that's like the front part of the hallway i'm going to basically remove any and all or grass blocks inside this and I'm going to replace it with probably oak wood planks I'll probably replace the entire floor with oak wood planks um, if you want to keep it grass inside the sheep pens I think that that would actually make sense but I'm not going to be I uh well shall I I might keep it you know what I might keep it grass inside the sheep pens just yeah, I might, I might have grass and a little bit of hay inside the pens. I think that I may just replace... I, I didn't do this in the original. Um, I might just replace, like, the hallway with oak wood planks. I think that's what I'm going to do, actually. In the original, I, uh, I completely removed the grass from the pens. But I, th I think I'd prefer some grass in there. And I think that I'd like to throw some bone meal on there. And I'd also like to add a little bit of hay so that the sheep can actually eat. I think that that's what I'd like to do rather than, rather than the alternative. Plus, I think it'll add a little bit of color to the build and uh, I think it'll look a little bit nicer so I'm only replacing the blocks associated with the hallway at the moment and uh, I might change my mind as things go on but I actually quite like that idea I, I quite like the idea of them having a, a little bit more of a natural pen so I'll be grabbing I apologize for that cut there guys my controller just died you wouldn't believe how many batteries I go through so I'm gonna grab some bone meal and I'll also grab some hay if I can find it. I can never find this stuff so we have the bone meal and the hay and I think that I'm just going to add a little bit of grass I'd prefer some flowers to the inside of these pens and I might even I might even thin it out a little bit yeah I, I might I might thin it out a little bit and I might um, I might add a little bit of hay to these pens and I'm also going to add in some gates um, I'm going to use dark oak wood fence gates and uh, I'll have to use these two center blocks here. So I'm going to have gates here so you can lead the sheep in and out and so that we can get in and out. I'm going to have two hay bales, I think, in each one. So here and here. And I don't want to destroy the flowers, but I might thin out the grass a little bit. So maybe like here, here, and here. Just just thin it out a little bit. Just do a little bit of gardening. Just uh, just spruce things up a little bit there. But I do like the idea that the sheep have kind of like a nice little enclosure. And you can add your own custom flowers if you want. Like if you have a particular pattern you like... Um, 
I, uh, I quite like the fact that uh, the sheeps have a a little bit of a, a better quality of life with the with this hay and uh, kind of like a little grassy area. I, I like that a little bit better. So and there we go. We have this. And uh, if you want to, you can also... No, you know what? We'll save that until later. What we can now do is once you've messed about with the pens, we can now talk about the individual parts of the pen. So the reason that we have all of these spaces open at the top is because each one of these four pens will correspond to a color of sheep. And to mark this out, we're going to grab four separate colors. So I'm going to grab like yellow wool, lime green wool, red wool, and orange wool. I'm also going to grab the color of glass that we need. So red stained glass, orange glass, yellow glass, lime glass, and we'll also need some white stained glass. So, I'm going to destroy these dark oak wood plank blocks that sit on top of the outer part of the top part of the pens, and on top of each one of the pens where I've just destroyed these plank blocks, I'm going to place an individual colour, so like orange, red, lime, and yellow. And just behind, on top of the roof here where we have the gaps, I'm going to have like orange stained glass for this roof. I'm going to have red stained glass for this roof, corresponding with each colour of sheep. I'm going to have white in the middle here. I'm going to have green here in this part. And I'm going to have yellow here above the yellow pen. I'm also going to have white stained glass running between the two parallel rows of spruce wood right at the back. So I'll connect these together with a layer of white glass. And this just stops us having to light up the place. It keeps it nice and light. And honestly, it keeps it looking very colorful. So you can see where we have red, we use red glass, yellow, yellow, lime, lime, and orange, orange. Perfect. Let's talk about the outside portion of the sheet pens. So where we have each one of the individual pens, like where we have this orange pen here, we want to, in the ground, drag out a row of one, two, three in the ground coming out of each one of the spruce woods out in front of the pen. So let's left one, one, two, three, this right one, one, two, three. And we want to fill in, in the ground, these two rows here that we've just took out. And we want to connect the end blocks together with orange. And this red one, one, two, three, one, two, three, connect them together. We want to make this pen red. And then we want to come here and we want to one, two, three, knock out one, two, three, coming out in front of the sheet pen. We want to do line. And then right on the end here where we have yellow, one, two, three, and then we have one, two, three, connect them together at the end. We want to have yellow. So we just want to mark out each one of the individual color of pens. Then we can get rid of all of our stuff and we can grab, uh, if you want to keep the sheeps inside each one of their individual pens, we'll need like oak wood fence gates. And we're also going to need some dark oak wood fence. We'll also need some, oh, we'll need some oak wood planks and we'll need some dark oak wood planks. But then we're going to want to grab the clay. And you don't have to do this, but I'm going to grab red stained clay, orange stained clay, yellow stained clay, and lime stained clay. And in the ground, outside each one of the individual color of pens, I'm going to have orange stained clay inside the orange pen, red stained clay inside the red pen, I'm going to have green stained clay or lime stained clay inside of the lime pen, and the yellow stained clay inside of the yellow pen. So we now have each one of these little pens um, color coordinated with the clay with the wool. I'm then going to take out the oak wood planks and I'm going to knock into the ground in between each one of the pens here and I want to knock in rows of three coming out in between the pens just in between them that is and I want to just replace those rows that I've destroyed with oak wood planks like this so I just want to replace them with oak wood planks like that. I then want to take out the dark oak wood planks and I want to destroy Starting from the very left hand side, coming all the way over to the right, I want to destroy, coming out from the two front corners of the sheep pen, or the sheep stables, or whatever you want to call it, I want to destroy that, and I want to have a very long row destroyed out in front of the build. And then, what I want to do is, coming out from the entrance, starting from underneath the oak wood fence, I want to knock out those two blocks there. So, I then want to place oak wood planks here in front of these two grass blocks. I want to destroy the four grass blocks behind them, and then I want to replace those with oak wood planks. I can then take out the dark oak wood planks, and I can fill in the entire rest of the area that I've just knocked out with dark oak wood planks. So, I just want to 
knock out the entire area. And this is going to put a border around the outer part of our little sheep stables, our sheep farm, whatever you want to call it, like this. I'm then going to place oakwood fence gates out in front of each one of the little individual pens, like this. And then I'm going to place dark oakwood fence going all the way around the individually coloured, um, individually coloured wolves. So all the way around the red wool, all the way around the green, all around the yellow, orange, filling all of these in with the dark oak wood fence like this. So we want to have something which should look like that. And that should put an end to our sheep pen or our sheep farm. It looks pretty cool, doesn't it? I think that this is one of the more interesting looking builds that I've made. Uh, I needed to make it look very, very different from all of the other things like the stables and the barns. And I think I've done a pretty good job. I think that this looks really, really cool. Um, if you want to, you can make this thing even wider. You can make it even longer. And it is very, very open to at the back here. You can simply add an extra layer of what you have on the front onto the back. So you can make this as big as you want, as long as you want. And you can have as many sheep in here as possible. You're not just limited to the four colors you can have as many as you like but i just thought to keep this video at a reasonable time we should only have the four and this is what the little sheep stables little sheep farm whatever you want to call it this is what your little sheep habitat should look like do you know what i just realized we're missing sheep so this is a pretty good representation of how i would actually use this thing so we have our sheep now, and I'm just dyeing them their individual colours, and I do like it with the sheep outside. And this is how I'd separate them, I'd keep the sheep outside, I'd keep them all in their different colours, and honestly, I like how they add to the atmosphere. I can't believe that I forgot about them, and obviously you can have some on the inside as well, you can have them on the outside, you can keep the gates open, you can keep them closed, you can do what you like. But, that is the sheep pen, the sheep farm, the sheep stables, whatever you want to call this thing. It is done. Hopefully you guys like this build. I hope you do because I spent a lot of time designing this. I had to make it really, really different from all of the other animal related builds and I think that I've managed to do it. So give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Follow me on Twitter at TSMC360. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'd really, really appreciate it. Comment down below. Let me know what you want me to make next. I've made pretty much everything that you see in this world due to request. That Uncle Grandpa RV, that tennis court, the ice cream bowl, the Angry Birds, all the animal builds, that police station, that campsite, that arcade machine, Pikachu, the fishbowl. Every single one of these things have been requests, which I've taken from the comment section and Twitter. So, if you want something made, whatever it may be, as ridiculous as you may think it may be, comment down below. So check, check me out on Twitter. Let me know there. That's the easiest place to let me know what you want to see. Check out the card system. Check out the description below. I'll be leaving links to all of my other animal-related builds there, plus a couple of other things that I think that you guys might really like. That's probably about it, guys. Like, favorite, share if you mind. Comment down below. Check out the card system. Check out Twitter at TSMC3CC. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.